Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to streak a culture plate for isolation. So today we're going to use three different mixed cultures. So they're labeled A, B, and C for you. Uh, you're going to get three different nutrient auger plates. You're going to need your loop. You're going to need a Sharpie. And then there are three vortexes that are going to be in the back of the classroom. So we are just going to follow the directions in lab five on page 39. And what we're trying to do is we are going to take these mixed cultures and we're trying to isolate individual colonies and create a pure culture. So the first thing is we are going to label the bottom of our nutrient auger plate just as it's written in your lab book. So notice I have my initials, I have my date. I'm gonna go into culture tube A first, so I've labeled this plate A. When you draw your lines, think of them in thirds. And so this is a third, this is a third, and we're drawing this about a third. And then you're gonna label your quadrants one, four, three, and two. And once you have it labeled just like this, then you're gonna turn it over. You wanna take your loop in your dominant hand and you wanna hold it just like a pencil. So we're gonna do that. We are going to take our culture tube. Oh, my little label came off, but that's okay. It's still culture tube A. And we're gonna go and we want to mix these. And so that's what the vortex is for. You're gonna hold the tube in the middle, put your finger on the cap, and all you need to do is push. And all we're doing is we are mixing up the culture to evenly disperse the two different bacteria in that culture tube. So we have a mixed culture tube, we've got our loop. We're gonna flame our loop. I have my nice tight cone, my blue cone in the center, that's the hottest part of the flame. You're gonna start flaming your loop at the base and so as it glows hot, and then you're gonna work your way down to the end of the loop until the loop turns orange. You say microbiology is fun. And now we need to go into our culture tube and we wanna do this aseptically. So you're gonna take your pinky of your dominant hand, you're gonna wrap it around the cap and pull. Keep the tube horizontal. We're gonna flame the mouth of the tube, just like we did the mouth of the flasks when we poured our auger plates. And what you wanna do is you wanna put the uh, loop of the needle into the culture without touching the sides of the tube. And you wanna get yourself a loop full of culture. So I have a loop full, and now I'm gonna reflame the culture tube. And then I'm gonna put the cap back on. I'm gonna put it in the test tube rack, and I'm gonna move this away because I'm never gonna go back into that again. So now it's time to streak our plate. So we have the lid, we never want to wave the lid around, we don't ever want to put it down onto the lab bench. We're going to use this lid as a shield because there are contaminants in the air and we don't want them to get on our plate. So we're going to begin in quadrant one and I'm going to start up here at the top and gently touch the, my loop to the auger surface and then I'm going to start streaking and I never want my lines to cross over one another. I'm just going to go back and forth, two, three, four, five times, and then I'm gonna stop. You don't wanna cross into any of the other quadrants, and then I'm gonna reflame my loop. And once again, I start at the base, I go all the way to the end, until it goes, microbiology is fun. And now I'm gonna turn my plate and I wanna go into quadrant two. This is really hot, so I don't want to burn my bacterium, so I'm gonna make a little sizzle spot over here in quadrant one, and I'm gonna touch it way to the edge. It's gonna make a little sizzle. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna spread the bacteria over here from quadrant one across quadrant two. So I'm gonna put my loop down, and I'm just gonna gently streak one, two, three, four, five. And notice I never crossed into any of the other quadrants. I didn't cross over my lines. And then you close your plate. You're gonna reflame. Turn your plate so you're looking at number three. And this is hot, remember? So I make a little sizzle spot over here in four this time, close to the edge. Now I'm gonna go into the, um, I'm gonna cross into quadrant two as I'm streaking across quadrant three. And so I'm gonna do that again five times. So I'm starting, I'm taking some bacteria from this quadrant two, I'm streaking them into three. One, two, three, four, 
five times, and then I'm going to stop, and I'm going to close my lid, flame, once again, from the base to the tip, it glows, microbiology is fun, and then I'm going to rotate, so I rotated. So now, this quadrant four is the money quadrant, it's going to be a little bit different, I'm only going to go into quadrant three two times. So, oh, got a sizzle, we don't want to burn our bacterium, sizzle. Okay, so one, two, and now I'm not gonna go back into three. Now I'm just gonna streak across quadrant four. I'm trying to isolate bacterium so they form an individual colony. And notice I'm moving down that quadrant. I'm not crossing over my lines. I'm gonna go as far as I can go without going into any of the other quadrants. Then I close my plate. I'm gonna flame my loop because I don't want to contaminate the lab bench when I put it down. Down. And now I'm going to flip my auger plate over. Now it's ready to incubate. That's it.